I'm using templates in a slightly different way. Um, the main thing is I'm using a hump mold as my, my shape. Um, I've, in doing some of this research that took me to finding the tax, um, it also took me to places like um, Target and uh, Marshalls and the dollar store to find forms that I can fill with plaster that then I can use for uh, hump molds. So I'm able to take this kind of this plaster block and this is uh, from one of those woven, woven wooden salad dishes. Uh, filled it with plaster and now I've got uh, the ability to build on top of that uh, but the thing that's different too is that I need to start with a softer slab so I pull out for these hump mold pieces I pull out the slab and spec to the to the hump mold and then texture and then drape the clay over the mold from there um, so let me pull a slab it's about the size that I need this is also the good thing about this process of pulling slabs is that I can kind of fine tune the size, thickness, and shape that I want. And I don't need to let things set up. So while I'll usually make these while I'm waiting for slabs to set up. I can pull out a bunch of soft slabs, drape them over the molds, trim them off, and then let those sit well then I go back to building. So it gives me something to do in the off time to be able to make some more shapes. Smoothing that surface with the rib, giving a nice blank canvas for the texture. Flip that over. Soft slabs stick to the surface of the sheetrock. So before I do anything with them, I kind of pull them off, release them from the surface, and then they're a little easier to move. They will tear. They're a little harder to, to work with because of their stickiness. This is just a larger piece of that mat that I had before. It's one side and just a piece of pegboard and that one has a little belly button texture and I'll line those up this is going to have a seam down the center so I'll true up those edges I'm going to put the imprinted texture overlapping the softer texture. Again, I'll bevel that scored edge. A little bit of water. Sponge. Seal that edge. And I like the soft slabs. I could do this with the stiffer slabs because they, they're still somewhat malleable. Um, but I really want everything to kind of drape and suck down over top of some of these shapes. Um, and also the texture will move a little bit. It'll ease the, the dot texture, kind of stretch a little bit. And it'll do some things that I won't necessarily be able to do in some of the other forms because of the, the stretch over top of the mold. So then I'll just trim that excess off. This is a fettling knife that has just been sharpened a lot. Um, and just it's slowly gotten smaller and smaller. Um, I think I broke the tip off at one point, so I sharpened it down. So, and then uh, with a little tool dip on the tool dip on the handle to 
keep it visible. You stick it in. I lose my tools an awful lot. So just hit it with a quick sponge. 